Welcome back. You are watching just some of the high energy singing and dancing of a Bronx tale. The hit musical is based on a true life story written by Chaz Palminteri, turned into a stage play, then a movie, then an award winning Broadway <laughs> show. <laughs> and it's now on stage in Pittsburgh, starring American Idol winner Nick Fradiani in the role of Lorenzo, who, if you don't know, was played by Robert De Niro in the film. Nick is with us today after opening night at the Benedum last night. And so good to have you here. Are you a little it's tired? Great to be here. I'm a little shot, but uh, it's, uh, I just I got on this couch. It's like, I might take a it's nap right now. I don't know. It? It's like that, really that's comfortable. The danger. Yeah, it's yeah. Great. Yeah. Really good. Tell us, you play a father. You play a father of the boy who could sort of turn down the wrong path. Right. Did you ever think you'd play a dad? I mean, you're I, a young guy. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I, I'm not a dad, so I had to, uh, you know, I looked a lot of this role. I kind of looked to my father um, for kind of, you know, a lot of this. There's a, there's a whole scene of um, me, like, playing baseball with my son kind of tossing mm -hmm. the ball back and forth and we're talking about the Yankees and that was literally like my childhood so I take a lot of you know take a lot of, of, of that into my role and then of course like you said I, I watched the movie a bunch and you know De Niro played it amazingly so and so tell us how you landed this role because there's a good story to this yeah so <laughs> I um well I don't even know how I ended up how they you know casting reached out to my agent and I right away I knew that uh, I knew the story really well I knew the movie um and so I read for it and um, did a bunch of auditions. The last audition was in front of Chaz, which is pretty nerve wracking. Um, J Jerry Zachs was there, who was the original producer and, uh, um, or director, I'm sorry. And uh, long story short, I ended up getting it. And uh, Chaz then invited me to, uh, to uh, eat at his restaurant. He has a great restaurant in New York. Mm -hmm. And um, so yeah, I got to hang with him and, and talk the role over. And he kind of gave me some pointers on how to play his dad, basically, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. You know, people describe this musical, they sort of say it's a cross between West Side Story and Jersey Boys. Yeah. Is that accurate? Like, how would you describe it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's the, the, the music and dancing is really incredible. I mean, the music was written by Alan Menken, who wrote mm. uh, Beauty, all the music he loved from Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin, and uh, the guy's just a genius. So the music is uh, really memorable. Um, and the dancing, the, 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 the cast, luckily I, they don't have to see me dance, Lorenzo doesn't dance in this show. Oh, you, oh really, you don't I'm dance? Like the only, I'm like the only guy, at the end I gotta do a little two-step, but that's about it, it's very, <laughs> they keep it real simple, but um, yeah, it's, it's a fun show, it really is, and the story is really great. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about American Idol, because some people know you from that. Yeah, so I, I, will, I won American Idol in 2015, and um, that was an awesome experience, never thought, you know, I've never done musical theater before, so this is my, kind of my first, uh, uh, time doing this, um, but I think Idol kind of, you know, prepares you for doing all different stuff, especially live and in front of a, uh, a big crowd. So, oh yeah, there I, I have am. to think there's a lot of pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of pressure. I think I was still more nervous my first time doing the musical though than I was being on really? live TV. Yeah, because with American Idol, I mean, I was doing what I do. I mean, I just sat with my guitar, stood with my guitar, and played songs, and so that's really in my comfort that's zone. You, where right. this is. Uh, a little outside my comfort zone, so I was super nervous. But now, I mean, I, I love it. It's been a, it's been an amazing experience, and the show's great. And Pittsburgh, we played last night, and it was amazing. I mean, the crowd was so great. Uh, you could tell they really understood. They, they just got, they kind of got it. You know what I mean? There was a lot of laughter and. Um, it was great. It was a really awesome crowd here. And we understand there's pirate baseball references in the show. <laughs> there is. Our producer so saw it Bill last Mazarowski. night and she loved yeah, it. So <laughs> there, there is a scene where, where um, my son finds out that the Yankees, had, they had just lost the World Series because Bill hit the home run. And usually, and he's like, the kid's like crying. <laughs> And the crowd is like cheering. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of probably, I, hope warned, I hope they warned. I hope they warned the actor. Hey, you know, my buddy Trey, who plays my son uh, in the show, was probably a little like, oh. <laughs> Didn't Wasn't expect that. Wasn't expecting that. that. Yeah. Really. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're really excited cool. to see it, and thank you for joining us. We thank you. It. Yeah. Hope, yeah. Uh, hope everyone enjoys the show. Well, don't miss a Bronx Tale presented by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust and the PNC Broadway series. It is at the Benetton Center now through Sunday. Call the box office or go online for showtimes and tickets as well.